Hello and welcome to this film, Heaven and the Hall of Records. The reality of heaven is a mystery that has enshrouded the consciousness of human beings for eternity. It's a subject matter that mind itself cannot completely embrace in its entirety because logic does not have the ability to comprehend abstract forces and energies. Aspects of religious teachings often refer to heaven in a dualistic manner by comparison to heaven and hell or God and the devil. The human mind has created many images of what heaven is claimed to look like. Two of the most depicted and recognized images are the pearly gates and the choir of angels. I have explored the realities of heaven from the higher realms of consciousness that incorporate the attributes of my clairvoyance, clairaudience and my clairsentience gifts. In this video I will share some of those experiences with you which may clarify or confirm certain aspects for you. On the many journeys that I have experienced in relation to heaven, I have come to understand that for me, heaven is held in the consciousness of God, who is the creator of all things. Within the consciousness of God, there are many facets, some of which I have experienced on my spiritual path. Here are some examples of the facets that I have experienced. There are seven masters, seven archangels and angels, spirit guides, spirit beings and soul beings such as myself. The masters each of the seven masters holds the consciousness of God and each individual soul is connected to a specific master. That master guides the souls to follow their spiritual path on earth through the attributes it holds. Archangels Archangels are strongly linked to heaven and each of the seven archangels holds a specific vibration that keeps human consciousness in line with God consciousness which are Archangel Michael, the warrior Archangel Raphael, healing Archangel Gabriel, the messenger. Archangel Yofi, the beauty. Archangel Ariel, nature and animals. Archangel Azrael, death and renewal. Archangel Shamuel, Peaceful Relationships Spirit Guides There are two forms of spirit guides. The first form of spirit guide is one's main spirit guide. Your spiritual guide has been standing by your side 
from the moment you reincarnated and has been waiting for you to connect and communicate with it. Your main spirit guide knows you better than you know yourself and it knows what you are seeking. It will guide you through the questions that arise from the experiences that you create. This is why it is of significant importance to ask the question from one's main guide in order to receive guidance. The second form of spirit guide is also there to support you during the transition of raising your consciousness into the fourth and fifth dimensions. This guide also knows you but their presence is more in the background watching over you. Just like the main guide, this guide will not interfere with your freedom to choose but will help guide you in subtle ways. Souls Heaven is where souls return to, lifetime after lifetime. It's where the soul is given access to study their previous life experiences. The soul can study the choices it made during their lifetime on earth and will be given the opportunity to make the necessary changes where needed when they reincarnate to earth. It is important to point out that when a soul reincarnates it has no recollection of its previous life or lifetimes, that is, until the enlightenment has reached the plateau of the fifth dimensional consciousness. Heaven Heaven is a place where all aspects of love, peace and beauty reside. It's where souls receive guidance and counselling from higher spiritual beings, such as through a main guide or a master, under which the soul's vibration resonates. When in heaven, we are also given the opportunity to study the positive and negative effects of the karma that has been created in the previous life or lifetimes. When we reincarnate, the spiritual path is laid out before us to follow. Intuitively, we know this, but logically it is hidden. For example, when life is not going the way you expect things to be. Things keep happening that irritate you or even make you angry. But if you stop for a moment and ask why negative things keep happening to you, something may pop up in your mind that gives you insight and as such you may choose to go another way or do things differently. At the beginning of my spiritual development I was told by my main guide that in heaven there is a temple called the Hall of Records. My main guide continued telepathically by saying that the Hall of Records was akin to a spiritual library in which the records of every soul's lifetime on earth are kept. Every thought and every experience throughout the entire soul's journey on earth is recorded and held in the Hall of Records. One day, during a deep meditation, I asked my main guide to take me to the Hall of Records. In an instant, I found myself standing by my main guide's side, outside an enormous beautiful temple. Telepathically, my main guide said to me, This is the Hall of Records. You are welcome to explore. 
I will be here when you have found what you are looking for. I made my way up to the top of the steps, and just in front of me there was a large opening, which I intuitively knew was the main entrance. When I passed through the entrance, I stood in another hallway that had rows upon rows of books. I again tuned in and stopped at the specific book row and then the thought came, is my book in this row? A few steps along the row, a translucent blue book appeared, followed by the thought, this must be my book. Before I reached out to the book, it began to float towards me and I grasped it. Then the translucent blue light disappeared, which left me holding a physical indigo book that had my name written on it. I opened the book to study it further, which was when a bright light filled my consciousness and pictures of previous lifetimes began to flow through my mind. Then the book suddenly stopped five lifetimes before this one, which showed that I was a Shoshone Native American Indian. In that lifetime I was depicted riding a horse and was rounding up a herd of wild horses. This immediately took me back to when I was seven years old when I saw a pony in a field near to my home. I climbed over the gate and naturally put my hand on the front of the pony's head. We instantly connected, and in the next instant, I grabbed his mane and leapt onto his back, and I was off riding the pony as if I had been doing it all my life. In that moment, in the Hall of Records, I knew where my skills of riding horses came from. I was still holding those skills in my consciousness from my past life and it was as if I was a Shoshone Native American Indian again. In a flash I was then back standing next to my main guide. He had a big smile across his face and said, I understand that you have found what you came to find, and I nodded my head in agreement. In the next instant, I came back into my physical body and opened my eyes to find myself physically back in my room. To summarize, heaven is the creation of God. It's where souls return to when physical death occurs. Heaven is where the process of life and death, physical and spiritual, karmic and eternal experiences are eternally evolving. When the soul is in heaven, it is able to reassess its previous life on earth and receives counselling and guidance from higher beings. When the moment is right, the soul will reincarnate to earth under karmic law, or if one is karmic free, one will decide 
when it is at the right time and right location to advance one's consciousness. Souls that return to Earth under karmic law cannot recall previous life experiences, but can have a déjà vu that intuitively is telling them that what they are experiencing is from a previous life. There is no such thing as retribution in heaven, but forgiveness, empathy, acceptance, truth, peace, love and light are present in abundance. Rest assured that peace, love and light rests within the heart of all human beings, which continually seeks to express itself. I thank you for watching and listening to this video. Peace, Love and Light, Ralph Jenkins